Hello and welcome to part two of the Road to Glory save here with Dulwich. Uh, my name's Russ. In this episode we're going to look at the transfers and the build-up to our first game against Chippenham. Hopefully we can bring in the right players, get the right dynamic going, get the hierarchy working as well and sort of find some, some cohesion with our team. So this is our first opportunity to meet the team, uh, have a little chat with them, see if we can build up some, uh, some manager or support for them. So here we go. So... I'd like to introduce myself to the Scotlands and to the boys. Seem pretty happy with that, except for Andrew Blackman, who's insistent. I uh, understand that some people might have doubts over the lack of experience, but we're all prepared to give you a chance with our, and our support. So, with this one, I think we'll say to them, um, do, 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 do. Plan on improving the defensive situation, see what that says. Negative and downcasted. I'm not sure that really changed anything, but if everyone's happy, that mean by all means go for it. Uh, I think we just have no gesture, and we'll go that we're going to improve the backroom staff. Well, that seems to, uh, to get them all happy, or the majority of them happy. Uh, I think we'll go. Let's move on to the expectations. We've made enough promises. Happy with that? Let's talk about our targets for the season. I'm going to say playoffs. Let's go with that one. Yeah, we've got them all on board. They're all happy. They're all pleased. Let's pump the fists. This is exactly the reaction I'm looking for. Want to aim to reach the FA Cup proper this season? One satisfied. Sounds good to uh, Jack Holland, our captain. Again, sort of reaction we're looking for. Uh, code of conduct. Yeah, let's just go with this one here. I think, think we've done well there. Encourage them, they're content, they're happy. Morale's gone up a hell of a lot, and so is the uh, dressing room atmosphere. Happy with that meeting. First meet with the press, let's see what they want us uh, to talk about, see what they want to say. Can you share some thoughts on what it means to be the manager of Dulwich Hamlet? Quite proud of this one, to be honest, so let's do a warm smile. Let's say it's a real honour. Real honour, exciting times to be here. Uh, why Dulwich Hamlet? What's the allure coming here? Uh, open arms, potential of this club, that's why That's why we're here, ignoring the fact that we're in here because of the kit. Uh, do you have any reservations about this job? No, not really. Honestly, like I say, there's no problems at this stage of all this is meant to be. You don't have much of a reputation to speak of. Uh, many people express surprise that you've taken, uh, taken over as Dulwich Hamlet man manager. Can a little known manager such as yourself really run a club like this? Of course I can, consider myself entirely appropriate for this job. It can't be an invi inviable task for you to follow in the footsteps of a legend like Gavin Ross. How do you think you'll measure up to his, pre is his predecessor? Let's just go, he's a true great at this club. It's humbling to be here, just pander to the, uh, to the legends. Will you be looking to change the squad a lot? Of course I am. Let's do a warm smile. And we'll go with, uh, I don't know the answer to that one yet. I do know the answer, that's the only problem. Let's go no gestures. I'm not going to tear the, I'm not going to tear the squad apart or anything like that. But we can bring quality in here, so we'll look to do so. We'll go with that one. Have you introduced yourself to squad? Of course I have. Uh, they're excited to work here. But I think we'll go with this one here. Hunger. Support is always going to, uh, Always going to play a role. Let's get the fan base going. Let's get the fans on our side. Where do you think we take this club? We want to win big here, don't we? We want success. Let's go with that one there. Uh, what can the Dulwich players expect from you in training? Balance. Sensible approach to work. Well, I really want hard work. Open arms. Well, maybe not. Uh, we have to put the work in. It doesn't mean we're going to run until our legs fall off. We show that sort of commitment. Let's go with that one. Uh, Giovanni McGregor is the sort of player you'd be looking to build around. He's a good player, but I don't know if we're going to build around him. Uh, let's go with the neutral on that one. Jack Collins, captain. Yeah, if it's not broken, and fix it. He's the captain. He's captain of the squad at the moment. Whether he stays the captain is a different story. Where can we improve on? As we said in the last video, definitely in the midfield. 
definitely weak in that area. What would you say your style is as relates to people management? Uh, they can come to me, if anything. Come and talk to me. I like that in person. Do you figure primacy on the uh, fellow man on the south? Yeah, but uh, no feeling either way. Cup's going to be good. And that is the first press conference. They have no, uh, no real relationship yet. Hopefully that is built a little bit more in terms of dynamics with the squad. Team cohesion is still low. Atmosphere is good. And yeah, managerial support is average, but it's, it's increasing. It is on the up. To try lists are in. I'm not going too much on their star ratings and potential ability at the moment. Uh, one, the scouting setup isn't isn't right here yet. We don't actually have any scouts so. And the coaching side of things, it's not great. So gauging how good the players are, uh, we'll have to see when we uh, when we when they play some games. Quite interesting is in this player, Samuel Geiger. We'll see what happens with him. Stats look okay for this level. He's 19, he can grow. He'll add a little bit of depth uh, to both uh, fullback positions. So our first signing is through the door. Oliver Bosworth, a sweeper keeper. Definitely going to add some strength to that area. Uh, three star current ability, five star potential. If you go on the coach's report, a lot better than the goalkeepers we currently have here. Let's put him in a uh, player comparison as well. Charlie Granger. Okay, shot stopping is the same, physical is the same. Charlie Granger is a little bit better in, better in the air, communication and, and he's a little bit more eccentric, but the mental is better here, the speed's better. Um, he's young as well, he's 19, so he's got a lot of, he's got a lot of developing he can do. Player number two for the door is Jack Lee, he's a centre back. Uh, good heading, good marking, good tackling. Very good uh, at jumping reach, so he's definitely going to add some... Uh, some quality in that defence there with the corners as well getting onto the ball and hopefully get a couple of goals for us uh, three star current ability and five star potential next player in the door is Lewis Byron he's a right back and a defensive midfielder we will need to work on his strength and stamina though getting in the gym get him a little bit stronger uh, especially if he's going to be holding that defensive position he does need to use his muscle a bit he does come in as an influential player as well which is good uh, he's a three two and a half star uh, current ability five star potential next player in is another goalkeeper Sarain Sinaya two star current ability five star potential the reason I brought him in is I think Charlie Granger has hit his ceiling so uh, this is going to be acting as our, our backup goalkeeper comes in from West Ham looks quite good hopefully we can uh, we can develop him quite well he's Gambian national so maybe he'll join the Gambian side always good to have uh, some internationals in your team Two more signings just before kickoff on the first day of the season. Uh, first one is Keaton Ward, a central midfielder. Comes in on loan from Mansfield. We're not paying any of his wages, which is good. Um, they want him to play as a deep line playmaker, which will work well in the second formation. In this one, he's probably going to play as the box to box midfielder. He's a three star current ability and five star potential. The second player coming in is Emmanuel Adebayi, uh, another central midfielder, three star current ability. Five star potential. He's going to play in that Mizala role. That is it for transfer wise, just for the first game of the season. Uh, we've still got a few more players that we're looking at. Uh, three or three players we have in on our trial. Hopefully they can uh, we can come in and add a little bit more depth. In uh, maybe we can thin this side out as well. Get some players players off the books. Get the wage bill down. Quite happy with this squad to be honest. Staffing wise, we've added the coaches we need. We've added the scouts. Uh, we've added the medical team, highest in the division now for judging players, uh, potential and ability. Uh, sports science is quite high. Physiotherapy is not that great. Eventually we'll try and improve that. This is the area that we still need to improve. Fitness has gone up, which is great. I think the next coach that I'll bring is going to be a goalkeeping coach. Hopefully they can develop the players that, uh, the players that we brought in. Take a look at the friendlies now. Three wins, two draws. I'm not going to count the uh, the Dulwich, Dulwich Hamlet second eleven game. It's a nothing really game. Just to have a look at the squad. Nice win over Yeovil, two 0 there. Not so pleased with the three goals uh, shipped to Nantwich though. So look at the Media Dream eleven now. See where they are placing us. See if it's improved at all. Yeah, we've gone up to fourth. Happy with that. 
Still no one in the Dream 11 though. Uh, hopefully we're going to get someone in there. Uh, next episode will be two games. Going back to the schedule. We'll play the Chippenham game. Play the Dartford for game. See what results we get. If you like that, like the video. Please drop a comment in the comment section. Subscribe to the videos as well. Thank you very much for watching.